Father Rob. I'm Father Rob Baldwin of St. James Episcopal Church, and this is part of the program where you send your questions in to me, and I answer them here for you on the air. Today's question was received from Dave, who asked me what I thought about when people talk about the Bible as a novel and treat it as a novel. And I, I think the gist of his question is, um, when a person looks at the Bible as just a book um, with a story, or critiques it in the same way that one might critique a novel, based on its characterization, its use of description, its plot. There's one very difficult element to this whole procedure, however. Even if you don't believe that what the Bible says is true, even if you do not believe the gist of the Bible's historical components are accurate, it is still a collection of books. Now, we don't talk about the chapter of Exodus, we talk about the book of Exodus because each of those books are very different from each other. In the Old Testament alone, there are the portions that are the cosmology stories of how the world was created, the histories of God's interaction with the Jewish people, whether it is while they were slaves in Egypt or part of the family of Abraham or when they were a kingdom of Israel. There's the historical part, the historical books. There's also the poetic books, like the Psalms or the Proverbs, which are things that are not meant to be histories or things with plots, but are merely supposed to be beautiful things that are supposed to be recited and learned from. And there's the prophetic texts, which are in many ways sort of like the collections of sermons. If you look at a prophet like Hosea, Micah, or Amos, these are the sermons, the, the things that they preached to the people of Israel, um, the Jewish people. Uh, during different historical times about calling them back to God. It would be like if you took a bunch of My Ask Father Robs and put them all together in one book. They wouldn't make a novel. They would make a totally different kind of genre of literature, if you will. Then we get to the New Testament, with its four biographies, one follow-up to one of the biographies, all the letters from different people, including Paul, and one really freaky little story at the end of it. All of these things don't suggest that there's one overriding narrative, although we can look as Christians at the entire Bible and see the one message of it, which is, this is how God is saving humanity. This was God's plan for the salvation of humanity and a blueprint for the future. That's probably the best you can do in terms of an overriding theme for the entire book. The fact of the matter is, the things are just too different from each other. Now, where I think that, that it's perhaps best to look at the Bible as novel, is when we do use the ways in which we would critique a novel to explore different parts of the Bible. So when you look at the Gospel of Luke, for example, and you look at the rich symbolism that he uses and the really detailed storytelling, or if you look at the pace of the Gospel of Mark, or you look at the themes that the Gospel of Matthew employs, or if you just appreciate the poetic nature of the Gospel of John in the same way that you might approach another work of literature. That's just one other way of looking at this as a way of exploring it as part of our own faith. We're continually called to read and reread scripture in different ways, taking it from different angles and trying to open up new truths that are waiting there every time we look at it. So if looking at a particular passage like we might look at a novel helps you to uncover those truths, then that seems just fine with me. I'd like to thank you, for Dave, for his question. You can send your questions to me, Father Rob Baldwin, care of St. James Episcopal Church, 200 West High Street, Pickle, Ohio, 45356, or you can email them to me at St. James Piqua, that's S-T-J-A-M-E-S-P-I-Q-U-A, at yahoo.com. In addition, I'd like to tell you that right now we're going to be releasing um, in the near future here at St. James a, D a DVD intended to, to introduce you or the viewer to all the different ministries here at St. James. It's a way of us sharing our experiences here with the people outside of the community. If you would like a copy of that DVD, which mostly just talks about all the different things that happen here at St. James, whether it's outreach or children's programming or worship, um, let us know. Contact me at that same address, 200 West High Street, Pickle, Ohio, 45356. Or if you know someone who you would think would like to see it, you're, like to see one and you would like to have that sent to them, you can ask us to do that as well. Like I said, we're just trying to uh, introduce more people into this wonderful place that I and its members love very much. 
So again, if you'd like to receive a copy of that DVD, just contact us and let us know. Thanks again for a great question, and I look forward to seeing you here each and every week.